So I was talking about references and the references you can see here, the heading, it should be two lines below the margin, at least one line below the margin, only then in the print it will come clearly. And after the references in the instructions it is giving, uh, given uh, four lines below the references, you have to start with the first uh, reference. And here you can see the references are arranged in the alphabetic order. First A names, then come the papers with the first author B names, and then C uh, name authors in the paper, then D, and also within C, after the, the second letter, you know how the dictionary will be. So like that, in your set of references, you have to arrange them in the alphabetic order. And our college, we follow the APA standard, APA standard for the references, which means author name, year, then title of the paper, then journal name, volume issue, and uh, any DOIs are there. So like that. So whatever references you have prepared as of now. So this model I showed you, this model I showed you here, one, two, threes are present, one, two, three is not required. And then all the references we have to arrange in the alphabetic order. And this is not in the required format. You can see first author names, then title, journal name. Here is coming at the last. So for that, what we can do, we can go to a website. And then you can just take the title of the paper title of the paper, you can put it in that link. And here, if you click on this, different formats are there. So here APA format, just you click on that, that will be selected, you copy paste into the required file. So here author names followed by year, then comes the journal name, then volume issue, and the page numbers and any DOI is there that will be the, the APA format is followed in the guidelines. It is given in this format references should be and alphabetic order is optional for UGPG uh, alphabetic order. Uh, but they have given somewhere it should uh, the symbols and abbreviations in alphabetic order they have mentioned in the guidelines references they didn't mention but that also preferably in alphabetic order it will be good. So like this you can uh, frame all the references from this website so that you need not type and write, just to copy paste the title, you will get different formats when you click on this. So APA is the followed format in our uh, all report books, okay? So this is about references. Next, I'm going to page numbers. I'm going to page numbers. If you have um, separately or a single file, how to give the page numbers. So here I have put the front pages separately. I showed you yesterday how to give the page numbers on the right top for the front pages. And this is the from chapter one, from chapter one and the how to give the page numbers in the center bottom, center bottom page numbers from chapter one. Okay. But if you have combinedly, if you have combined without separation, if you have combined or how to skip the first pay, uh, cover page without giving uh, page number, how to skip the cover page without giving page number. Okay. So we have a procedure. First, what you will do, this is the cover page straight away go to so what is our condition cover page should not have any page number and then declaration page is the second one after cover page from there onwards you have to give right top page numbers are roman letter and from chapter one introduction page numbers should be at the bottom center arabic one two three okay so for doing this what we can do is go to the declaration page directly and in the content you put cursor anywhere but not in the header or footer, put the cursor anywhere. Then go to the insert tab on top, page number, top of page, plane three, right top will come and you will get page number two. Then select and go to the design tab. Compulsory, you have to verify that link to previous section is disabled. Different first page is unchecked. Okay, so I'm going to the report book, full report. I'm taking the full report. First page, I will not disturb, cover page. I am going to the second page. Put the cursor anywhere inside the text, not in the header or footer. Then go to page tab. Then go to page number, top of page. So the page number will be insert 
page number yesterday we have done this top of the page and then top right side you will get two okay so earlier the two was inside the text it should be in the header page number should be in the header so now this is two no you have to select this then next step okay after selecting you will get page number two up to here i got it select that page number in header go to the design top and check it is previous of uh, link to previous section is disabled and of different first page is unchecked okay go to the design tab after selecting the page number go to the design tab so i'm coming back to the text now i am going to the header just to select the page number then we will get design uh, one more design should come two designs will be there actually i will show you here so i am taking another file this is my file if i go to this file is 15 pages no this file is 15 pages i'm going to second page i'm going to second page in the header okay insert page number right top and we have to change it to two we have to change it to number two and for that after selection design tab design tab for not, not this one home so design tab should be there design view view Yes, in the header and footer, in the header and footer, go to this page number and then format page number. I want two here, number format one, two, three only. And we have to start from two, from the second page I am going to give page numbers two. And the format should be this Arabic small letter and it should start from two and okay. Now it is coming in the sec in the first page itself. It has come. When I am selecting this, so once again, without giving page number, I am going to second page. Somewhere in the text, I am putting cursor. Then I am going to the header, second page header. Insert. Okay, insert top of the page third one and then you select this in the second page i am doing all this and the format page numbers change it to arabic small letter it should start from two it should start from two and before doing this we have to see the previous okay previous should be disabled this is enabled you can see here we have to check the previous option is disabled and different first page is unchecked. Different first page is unchecked. This should be disabled. Okay. And then link to previous. This one. Link to previous is already disabled. And different first page should be unchecked. Okay. Both of these things are there. Both, both these things are there. So I am selecting this now. After uncheck. Okay. Then under design tab, page number, format page number, you can change all this. Now your entire book will have Roman numbering from declaration from the beginning to end. Okay. So just I will go with the report book. In the report book, I have come here and in the header and footer only, I am having the disable option. Okay. Disable, different first page unchecked. So what I will do, go to format page number and arabic one two three and start from two 
start from two. Okay. So this is two in the first page. Now this is coming three. Now in the first page, page number should not come. That is our try. We are deleting completely. Page number completely deleted. Okay. This is in the text. Page number, this is in the text. I have to go to header and then header and footer and check this link to previous disabled, different first page. Go to page number and then top of the page number. Two is there. And we have to see this is Arabic. And it should start from two. Okay. Now, now what will happen? You can see here. Now what will happen? Different first page. From the second page, it has to operate like that. From the bona fide, it has to operate like that. And entire book will have all the Arabic numbers. So up to end of the book, all the Arabic numbers will be there. Throughout the book, right top Arabic number should come. Okay. So there is some difficult in this word file. That's why it is not properly done. So this is how page number should be given. Page number should be given if it is a complete without separation front pages or uh, the chapter one if they are not separated then we have to go to chapter one and uh, we have to put the cursor just before the first letter chapter one heading will be there we have to put before the first letter c the cursor then we have to go to the same page layout tab and uh, select the breaks so the front pages will be separated from the uh, other chapter one to ending those pages will be separated then again we have to verify the same disable option and the uncheck option and we have to give the page numbers in the center bottom, page numbers in the center bottom. Okay. So this is what we have. Then we can just check whether from the front pages there is Arabic and uh, front pages there is Roman and chapter one onwards it is Arabic. Just a checking process. I have written checking process. In the first one in the header, front pages. In the From the chapter one it is in the footer. Okay. So after this, straight away we have to save the file. Save the file. Okay. This is what? The procedure for giving page numbers. Procedure for giving page numbers. If there is any problem in the file, uh, we have to take a new word file and then copy entirely. Then we have to proceed. This is about giving page numbers. Giving page numbers. I have done with references and then how to give page numbers also. I have discussed. And apart from that, the table of contents you see here, chapter numbers are coming separately. The table is made invisible. If you click somewhere here, table is available actually. The outer lines are made invisible. And you can see this is chapter 1. Then 1.1, 1.2 subdivision straight below it should come. And if any, again subdivisions are there after 2.1, it is 2.1.1, 2.1.2, 2.1.3 1 .1 like that one cursor, one tab. One tab should be given and those subdivisions should come vertically down. Okay. And the page numbers also separate column. So all these are the important things in the contents page. Important things in the contents page. Okay. So it should come vertical. And then the last discussion. Last discussion. Page numbers completed. References completed. Table of contents also completed. If you have any diagrams, if you want to decorate the diagrams, if you want to decorate the diagrams, what you can do, this is the diagram. If I want to make it more attractive, you can just click. In Windows 10, we will have option, format the picture. And then go to the picture cropping can be done. The line, outer line can be solid line, can be increased, okay. The outer side, you can increase the width of the line or all this. With, you can see the diagram, how it is changing, okay. I have increased. Now, it has become like a photo, okay. Like that, you can change the diagrams. 
how much width you want you just make it attractive just to show the difference i have simply increased the outer line okay like that you can make the diagrams attractive and the figure numbers should be at the bottom table numbers should be at the top correctly page numbers you have to check and put it in the table of contents like this you can make both figures as well as tables outer portion attractive and colorful different colors also but anyway print will be black and white if you are taking color print any important diagrams are there you can do coloring like this also and the references not the square bracket in the literature survey chapter not the square bracket it should be author name comma year author name comma year in the guidelines it is mentioned okay so all these are the um, points i want to discuss so with uh, alignment one last thing i will show and close with that so anywhere from the chapter 1 you should see any you can see this paragraph it is completely aligned completely aligned 1.5 spacing is given end of the paragraph end of the paragraph same vertical line okay for this you have to select the entire paragraph and on the top you have to give justify entire paragraph and you give this justify then it will come aligned properly aligned for every paragraph you give one tab in the beginning of one any paragraph you give one tab okay so tab option it will start as a new paragraph you can see here this is one paragraph beginning one tab is given another paragraph one tab is given this will give a neat look okay so this is about the paragraph select the content any zigzag is there if you select justify it will arrange properly and adjust the spacing 1.5 automatically it will take it when you click the justify spacing yesterday itself i told in the table also you can give some coloring like this when you take black and white also that a blue color will come uh, light shaded another row will be white another light shaded it, the look will be good you can do for the tables like this okay and the overall if you have many algorithms you can also give a flow chart like this overall work if you are implementing three algorithms you can give some table like this what is your entire work about you can give a table final results everything in one single table also you can explain okay so with this i am closing with this i am closing